The food parcels are valued over 300,000, with senior citizens allocated 600 food parcels and another 200 to those living with disabilities. On behalf of the people living with disabilities, Maria da Consensao Lawrence calls for companies to donate land or a plot to build a recreational and sports center for people living with disabilities. Let us invest in our communities. Let us invest in people. Let us be people-centered, which we are asking once again a plot to build a center for people with disabilities. On his part, Otavi Elders Committee member Bernard Moshosho thank B2 Gold for continuously supporting the elderly. Thank you very much, B2 Gold. The staff, we see and we hear and we touch everything that you do for us. We are looking after our children, our elders, our vulnerable people, the disabled people. These things, it seems as if they are very small, but I say again, it is not small, it is very, very big. B2 Gold Managing Director Mark Dow said the event is part of its corporate social responsibility. I'm aware that uh, we do a lot for this particular community, and it's not just the food parcels that we hand out and the party that we have every year, the dancing, and that sort of thing, and a lot of different projects. Some of the projects have come from this event where we've been asked by the mayor or the chief executive to assist us with various projects, and sure enough, by the time we get here, the following year, those projects are completed usually. And this has been the case a number of times in this recent uh, donation we've given was a testing center. Otavi Mayor Isaac Wipe said the COVID pandemic has disrupted lives and the financial security of households, and as such, such appreciative events bring joy to many. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Faith Sankwasam, NBC News, Otavi.